came out of nowhere, it came out of space, a misty, beautiful nightmare, and exploded 20 miles above the earth over the Ural Mountains in Russia. That day, a piece of the universe came down to earth. Welcome to astronomy. I'd like to excite you. Let's begin a journey that really has no end and will take a lifetime. We'll start by going to an upper uh, office in Russia at Ground Zero. You bite, though. But outer space is not all gloom and doom. In fact, the study of astronomy takes you into a vast gallery of wonders that has kept untold numbers of humans coming back for more. Often for the rest of their lives, you won't be sorry you came by. I'm going to introduce you to some spectacular images, so beautiful, so magnificent, that they sometimes take your breath away. I challenge you to watch these slides and not be amazed at our universe. Astronomy is like bringing the universe down to your backyard. Welcome to our study of the cosmos. Do you like art or beauty or fresh air with good friends or the largest colored map ever seen by mankind? that moves and changes with every breath you breathe. Behold the heavens and be amazed. We live in a spiral galaxy, a tiny part of the universe called the Milky Way, which is 100,000 light years in diameter. It's the cloudy line of stars you see looking up in the sky at night. But the universe is much larger than that, and it's very active. The heart of the night sky is the stars. Here in our own Milky Way is a collection of 100,000 stars that are part of a globular cluster of 10 million stars. Sky watching is a ball just by looking up at the night sky or grabbing a pair of binoculars. But the images you are seeing here are mostly from the Hubble telescope far above the Earth's atmosphere. Before the Hubble, the background was black. With it, as here, we see thousands of entire galaxies and their billions of stars each, in detail never before imagined. We will study it all, beginning with our own solar system. Have you heard of the red planet? We'll answer that question and more. How do you find north in the night sky? How can you navigate around the world using the stars? Do you know where to find meteor showers? This little jewel is beautiful and few know it. When can you see this? When can you see a comet? When can you see a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse? We'll even find out how to become an astronaut. This ultraviolet view of Saturn boggles the mind and the senses. And then there's us. This is our moon. You can find yourself 
on the blue marble in the sky. Here's a comet that's in our night sky right now. And what's that shiny thing up there? But an iridium satellite. Welcome to the night sky. Brace yourself and simply be amazed. Let's go on a journey to go where you have never gone before. <laughs>